Okay, so very important, folks. I think this is like five or something like that. And you watch the, uh, you'll be able to watch the light propagation from that one. Also, very interesting here at this one. Okay, and then I'm going to go to nine. And you didn't get sound before because of probably more than likely Kerasov. They do a great job military side, civilian wise. Yeah, they do a damn good job, I guess. So anyway, I wish they would, you know, quit. But then the idea then that means there is military significance for showing armament on YouTube or the internet. Uh, yeah, I guess we're scaring to scare the piss out of somebody with showing all of our armament, and that's just not even all of it. That's just a little. That's just a. I don't know anybody, so I would know. And I'm lying to you for a second, but. The idea that that's not just not even a battalion and stuff, the stuff that you're seeing on the internet. So I'm going to try to pull up another camera here on the volcano over there in Japan. So what you didn't get before was supervisory control and data acquisition got a hold of my sound. More than likely privately to be legal. Uh, doesn't really matter. You can see the light propagation here, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, our or basically my and basically other people because you know there's been you know when you get on the internet and you have people say go look at this and then you end up seeing stuff and this is pretty much more than likely you see my live standard time down in the right corner and then the idea that you see the Japanese time and date up there okay and it's just basically scientific fact Okay, and then forget about the science, it's actual fact, you can see it with your eyes, the light propagation from space, and you can see the fast movement of these stars, okay, that rotate, and there's a lot of stars, folks, we know, you get out at night in time, and you know that people are, they sell names for stars, you can put your name on a star, there's so many damn stars, folks. Universes, tons of stars, okay, there are some fast moving, flipping stars out there, they have that one that basically the scientists down in, or basically the astronomers and or astrologers down at the telescopes in, I believe it is, Chile, uh, at least in South America, Brazil or what, whatever, has basically found a star that, was, that rotates 300 times faster than the sun. Uh, and it's like, or even, you know, of the, uh, any star that we would know, 300 times faster, okay? Then NASA, basically, on their site, unless they have changed the typo, they said that it only rotates 100 times faster than the sun that we know of. And the supergiants exist, and there is, and I repeat all the time, it's very easy data to blow off, is that there is 100 stars in the supergiants' main sequence, and 101, because the sun is in the supergiants' main sequence, and there is a hundred stars, and the sun is a star, in the supergiant's main sequence that are, and yes, they are stars in constellations that you do know the names of, and they are very bright. Now, uh, you could match up these stars by knowing what's over Japan right now, and there are astronomers and astrologers and so forth, and there is radioactive nuclei, we know that from the Fuka fudge up, okay? So this sound should be able to catch, okay? The one before this, the sound didn't catch. I do know but that they, they could probably still come in here and try to override and take the sound out again. Blink, blink. Yes, blink, blink. We know you can. Uh, but the idea that there is radioactive nuclei in Japan, we know that. Okay? And it attracts the light or possibly radioactive light that we do know scientifically. Scientists have found out before that there is radioactive light in space. Now, I've got the... the I'm going to show you some other stuff. Okay, so a fresh shot from Lasco, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up 400%. Yes, you can see that there's something they don't want us to see, okay? <clears throat> and IE, folks, the sun is in this. It's just blacked out. Layers, folks. I've tried to emphasize to you people layers. Now, we have very interesting proof of the idea that with the technology they ended up with from Mother Nature or whatever nature that builds space because there you go was more than likely what the scientists ended up using to figure out... Uh, connecting up satellites, okay? And no, those are not satellites. Those are planets, and they have an electrical uh, signature from each to each. And there is that planet, folks. And basically, like, if anybody's been paying attention, they know, and to them, I apologize for being repetitive, and as you see, they're blocking something out. All these things that you are seeing here, these planets and objects exist, and they are bigger than Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Mars, uh, some of them are even possibly larger than 
uh, Jupiter, which we know and have always been taught that it's the biggest thing in the Milky Way galaxy, well, we're not disagreeing with that. So let's zoom in some uh, more again on these uh, objects that we have over to the right. Now this is the most I can get in on this, and this is the one that's got people the most. Now there's tons of V action in space, folks. So that's what everybody needs to calm down when they come up with this, with this, with this, with this, this and certain names. NASA's is always going to mess around with names. Astronomers and astrologers are always going to mess around with names to keep everybody in the dark. Okay, and that is a huge planet that is more than likely bigger than, possibly even, as large as close to as large as Jupiter. Okay, and that is to the right towards Earth. Okay, of the shot that is basically a behind shot of, and all these are huge planets that are out there in space, ladies and gentlemen, yes. And i.e. that when the uh, astronauts went to Apollo and capsule and all that, whether they were there or not, all this stuff exists and didn't show up on the cameras when they showed us footage from way back when we were little munchkins, okay? There's a very interesting one also, folks. And we end up with so many stars out there in space that, yes, there are stuff that end up looking like other things that we've seen. Okay, so these objects are all there on LASCO, and this is the one that basically shows you a lot that they do overlays, and all this stuff's out there, and there is that that they don't want you to see. And more than likely, that is our large mass that we've always seen, and I'll take you to an old video of a Helio viewer, and not saying that I have something on that, but there are a lot more than just that one that does that electrical connection out there. And we know Cygnus, whatever, and there are objects in space that put off sound. And even the sun, you can hear audio on the sun if you go look all the data for the sun, folks. You can actually listen to the sun, I think, even live on the Internet. Okay. So I'll blow in here to Sechi, H1. From the 23rd is the newest I could get. I got the 24th on, I think it was uh, behind, okay? But I, I could be wrong on that. But I, I know that I couldn't pull up the 24th on some stuff, okay? And... Uh, you'd have to go to Beacon. I'll see if I got time to go to Beacon. I would think that it's probably still uh, Mars or Mercury that's sitting there. Okay, really don't think that that's Jupiter. And as you can see, humongous CME action, and they warn us about it that there's like whatever letter nine and stuff was while, and then this is going on. So there's going to be continued activity at the Sun, ladies and gentlemen. And the idea to get everybody to look, there has been all kinds of operation of operandi of quasi trying to get you to look anywhere else but looking at Soho and paying attention to what's going on with the sun in the supergiants okay and yes there's tons of other stuff going on in space ie that volcano activity that I showed you a little bit earlier okay and there are tons of stars and or planets that rotate around very very fast out there okay and they are like a disco ball ladies and gentlemen look up the history of a disco ball and I'll see if I can even put something in here on the North Star in here, too, because basically our GPS North Star is always going to change over hundreds of years, always, and it's always already known by astronomers and astrologers out there that it does change. It does, yeah, quiet. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now uh, there is your axis, your ass in Antarctica, and then the center over here, too. You look to the blue area. You see how it's off on there, and we know that the Earth twists like a bullet through space at more than 60,000 miles an hour, and we are going like 66,000 miles an hour of current or of the recent months, okay, last year, this year. Uh, so, and there's CME action coming in and so forth. So you go to, and that, like we, I just promote, you know, I don't promote them. I don't get any money from them, but it's a fast site to see a lot of information. You got it up there on your toolbar there. You can see. And then so that we seen that light propagation earlier this this week and then we'll go down and see what's going on with like lower atmosphere and so forth and the sun and we've seen that that's colorized but you do see where the idea that the sun's still burning hella hot and to pay attention to the temperatures that you can go read on the data there and as you can see we are lowering down on CME action and I guess that's probably dropped from the 23rd and on because as you just seen that CME would show up and more than likely it would be the higher of all of your data that you're seeing there. So then the drop is to us quieting down here, okay? But that stuff is going to end up hitting, and as you see, there was a nice jump and then a big drop, and that'll end up, everything is equal and opposite reaction, okay? And as you see, weather propagation still in effect, and always will be, uh, 
So, and also there is some very interesting, if you go ahead and pay attention to one of the colorizations that you can go to on one of the sites that Dutch gave you, I'm not going to give it to you because I don't want it to get jammed up too much. If you watch some of Dutch's older videos on Jetstream and uh, watching uh, radar and stuff, you can go ahead and see a propagation of a whip that whips up at Japan and then over to where uh, the Russian uh, accident was years ago, which basically they have changed the name of that and so forth and so on. And it's over there in the Ukraine and uh, Chernobyl has been changed a little bit in spelling and so forth and so on and it still exists. It's not, it didn't get blown off the map. It's just highly radioactive. And once you mine for radioactive materials and so forth and so such, it's attracted and ID space radioactivity attracts to the volcano in Japan that you showed at the beginning of this video. And here's your axis movement there. And earthquake. There are recent and then what's been so much recent and then this is not even more than a week. Just putting sound to this because I know you've seen it in the last video and you're probably wondering what the hell I was saying. So the idea that size and all everything all over the earth and this is less than a week or a little bit more than just a week folks of all the activity. As again, they don't like you to bring up the fact that it comes up low and then you get it out of the supergiants and sun does come. We rotate to the right and the sun comes up to the right below earth in the east and we rotate to the east. Okay, and that's how the clock always works. Okay, and then all this supergiants and all this sun activity and all this earthquake activity within the last week. Okay, I hope you still got sound and in the last go three you can see like at least... Uh, when you look, you can see all kinds of planets. We know they overlay, so you can see what possibly, probably is or not. You just take your own eyes, but I see like one, two, three, and then you can you miss these. All these objects are bigger than uh, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, and possibly even rival Jupiter, especially that. Okay, and that, and all kinds of other stuff, ladies and gentlemen. The Sun is in the supergiant's main sequence. All this stuff exists. All these planets are away huger than Earth. We are lucky we're like a rabbit hiding out in a hole because the idea that every one of these little grains of any white or gray that's very tiny, small, is about the size of what the Earth is compared to the Sun. The Sun is almost 11 Jupiters, okay? So uh, that is size-wise, and so the, like what we're saying is a lot of this stuff is farther away from the Sun, and these damn satellites are so damn far away from the Sun, and none of this stuff is, that you see is satellites, folks. And they have blown smoke up people's asses before saying that, oh, it's a satellite. None of this stuff, it would fry, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Anything, okay? And no damn Martians exist. They always want all stuff one. All right? Then more Lasco 2. Here we go. And we have a hell of brightness, as you can see, that you got a lot of stuff, whether they're wanting to let us see it or not, or whether uh, the power of everything to be is letting it glow brighter. Uh, at least on these shots, they are showing you a lot of stuff that's a lot brighter. We normally see this uh, material in basically huge planets behind the sun, and the idea that you are seeing them all right here in the black and white all around on another shot of behind. Let's try to go to Beacon and see what we can see that the idea that the only things that we should basically be seeing around here are such and such planets. So I'll go to Beacon and see what we got on Ant. Okay, but we do know and see what we see for sure right here. And yes, that footage I showed you earlier, we're more than likely we would contend that that's probably Mars again. As we see, we don't see the magnetic line here on Mars. So I really think that they are, uh, I mean, I'm straight up think that we're getting BSed on, on that being Mars. Okay, I think that's just another star there, or Mars should be there. But we see that we've seen Mars and just about every planet this in the last year and a half get its ass blasted and have a reactive CME flare to let's pop over and see if we see anything of our comet action that we figure we found. Uh, as you can see, there's some planets over here because you can see the magnetic line showing up even across the blocker. So there are huge planets either up or below that shot and more than likely down here being hidden in the supergiants. And you can follow through and watch and see what you can pick up by freezing and going back. Always watch everything full screen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can we can find. And even though they've darkened the layer, you still see that right there. You can't miss it. Right to the left of my cursor, you can still see something, a comet or something. It's moving along in space, ladies and gentlemen. That's not CME action from the supergiants. They are. The
And there it is at a thousand, folks. More soon, maybe. At